Hey folks, Rich Burdess from Brighter Days in Christchurch, New Zealand. And this is a clip for Jose who asked how to attach an Excel file from a SharePoint library into an Outlook or an email as an attachment. So let's step through how to build this. So I'll show you first of all, I have a SharePoint library and I have demo book Excel SX. And that's ID 21. So those are things to remember. Like what's the name? If you have metadata, what is there that's important, makes it unique? Or what's the ID? Okay, so those are things to remember when we do this. There's two ways to show you how to do this. So let's create um, an instant flow, just because I want to manually trigger it. Um, we'll attach, but you call it what you want. Um, you could run off um, any other tool, but just for this demo, let's see that. So the first thing to do, once you've got your trigger set up, is an action that you want to go get from our properties. Um, you want to get files properties only, and you want to grab your library. Your site collection, sorry. It's a power app site collection. Libraries documents, and then I want to expand show advanced options, and I want to do IDs queues to one. Okay, so that's ODA for getting that unique number for the file item, and then because it's a number, no speech marks around it. Next step. Good. Files, file content. So we want this guy, get file content, which grabs the physical um, file we could then use in this um, workflow. Again, go to your site collection, and then for select a file, the clue here is file identifier. Okay, it's not the ID, it is the identifier. So in your dynamic content, search up ident or IDE, whatever you want, but identifier, that's what we want. Um, and so that will grab identifier, but it will also put it in and apply to each. Um, I'll show that again. The reason it does that is because get files could return many items. And so at this type stage in the workflow, it doesn't know that it's only a single item, but this will only return one item because this filter is only going to get one file. Okay. But then inside the supply to each, that's where we can attach our email or attach our file to an email. So let's go Outlook. Can do it via mail as well. And then we want to send an email. Send to me. Again, if you want to send to someone else outside your tenant, switch into the advanced mode using that little switchy icon there, which doesn't really say much, but that's the one to use. And then you can type in here as needed. Um, put in whatever you want, right? Uh, but then for the attachment, you want to show advanced options. And then attachment name, attachment content. If I click onto attachment content, you're going to get um, the file because we're grabbing file content from here. You do have an action value from the file content here. So click that. And then for attachment name, type in file and then grab file name with extension. Otherwise, if you grab the name, you're going to need to add the extension to it. The file name extension is a good one to use. Click save and then test it. Yeah, let your phone run. Yeah, right now it's pinged, that's done. Okay. Go back to the inbox, attach file, and then we have my Excel file attached via Herald Man. Okay. If you want to do this a slightly different way, if you didn't know the ID number of your file, what you would do is extend get files properties only and then you put in an OData query for your, um, your file and so you need to figure out based on what was created the name or name starts with or you need to get something specific to get one item back otherwise you're going to get many back um, if you're not careful so you need to yeah, build out your library structure so you either can get the idea uh, via your Power Apps to get the context variable if you need to do that to get the ID so you know what it is um, or and send that through as a variable or go into the Power Automate uh, and then use something like starts with or equals and if you're going to go via a metadata column then you're going to want to put single speech marks so yeah, name or title let's just do name 
called excuse me a second demo book something like that um, just to get the name if you know, if you know the name but with the way I work through they're better off working with IDs because it was you can get it unique whereas you could have a couple of files called demo book possibly in your structure that you're looking for but that's how you do that I um, hope that's helped, Jose. Um, come back. Any questions, just let me know. Cheers, bye. Bye.